Hello everyone. So now we will be talking about Bordetella pertussis. Bordetella pertussis. So it causes pertussis, also known as whooping cough or hundred day cough. So Bordetella pertussis kya cause karta hai? It causes pertussis, it causes whooping cough or hundred day cough. Now let's look at the culture media. So culture media. Culture media used for Bordetella pertussis is Bordet Genju media. Theek hai? Bordet Genju media and number two is Reagan low media so this two you have to remember bordet genju media and reagan low media these two you have to remember the culture culture media now how the how the culture is done so before we used to use cuff plate method cuff plate method but this is Absolute now. We don't use cuff plate method anymore. Okay. We do not use cuff plate method anymore. Because why? The secondary attack rate is greater than secondary attack rate. Secondary attack rate is greater than 90%. Now let's go to the stages of Bordetella pertussis. Now the first stage is known as the catharal stage. Okay. Number two is known as the paroxysmal stage. Number three is the convulsion stage. So catharal stage is the most infectious stage. Okay. Paroxysmal stage is the stage where whoops are present and convulsion stage is the recovery phase. Done? Understood? Let's revise. Stages, catharal, paroxysmal and convulsion. Catharal is the most infectious stage. Paroxysmal is the whoops present. Convulsion is the recovery phase. Okay? These three are the stages of Apka Bordetella pertussis. Now let's look at the incubation period. Incubation period is one to two weeks. Okay, fine. Incubation period done. Now let's look at the lab diagnosis. So what we do for lab diagnosis, we take the nasopharyngeal swab. And we grow it on a culture media. Which culture media? Bordet Genju media. And what do we see in that Bordet Genju media? Bisected pearl appearance. Now let's see what is bisected pearl appearance. See, this is colonies on Bordet Genju media see these are the bisected pearl appearance you can see i guess yes bordetella so growth is slow 48 to 72 hours colonies are small dome shaped smooth opaque this is not required surrounded by hazy zone you have to remember this that these are bisected pearl appearance pearl appearance and pearls are like this are like mercury drops okay fine okay and besides this we also do pcr for bordetella petrusis we did what we did first we did nasopharyngeal swab culture media may grow here and then we also do pcr okay now let's talk about bordetella vaccine Vaccine ke baare mein baat karna parega. To bordetella vaccines are of two types. Acellular and cellular. 
but cellular is no more used nowadays because a cellular and cellular they have both equal efficacy so cellular we don't use anymore and we use a cellular bordetella pertussis vaccine now let's see the composition of a cellular vaccine it is made up of pertussis toxid okay number two fimbrial hema hema glutin nin okay then pertactin and a glutine gens one two and three so we are done with bordetella pertussis now let's do the revision so pehle kya hoga you go to your notes first page go to your first page so bordetella pertussis causes pertussis also known as whooping cough and also known as 100 day cough so what is the culture media for bordetella pertussis it's the bordet genju media also Reagan low media is used now calf plate method is obsolete now because the secondary attack rate is greater than 90 percent now what are the stages of bordetella pertussis the cataral stage paroxysmal stage and the convulsion stage the cataral stage is the most infectious stage paroxysmal stage is the stage where whoops are present and the convulsion stage is the recovery phase now incubation period incubation period of bordetella pertussis is from one to two weeks lab diagnosis kaise karte hai? we take nasopharyngeal swabs and we grow it on culture media culture media mein kya dekhte hai? Uh, we see bisected pearl appearance you can see here like mercury drops so this is the bisected pearl appearance also we do pcr beside that we have vaccine for Bordetella pertussis. Two types of vaccines are there, acellular and cellular. So cellular we don't use anymore because the acellular is equally effective. So acellular ka composition kya hai? It is made up of pertussis toxid, fimbrial hemagglutinin, pertectin and agglutinogens 1, 2 and 3. So we are done with Bordetella pertussis. I hope you like the class. So, see you next time with another new topic. Thank you very much.